Well, good morning. It's Monday morning. We are blessed to be with you. I was just telling Larry, it's hard for me to believe that, uh, I mean, this is the last week of July. You know, that's a, it just seems like the summer has just flown by to me and maybe the whole year, I think. Yeah, you're you know? talking how wet it's been. Yeah, it's yeah, been good. It's been really nice. Some parts of America it hasn't, but in ours it has. Yeah. Well, I tell you, God did a flip-flop. He took the weather from the north uh, west and brought it down to Texas and gave us gave them our weather. I uh, think amen. so. I amen. Think so. Praise God. Well, the title of our devotion today is Silence Those Who Criticize You for the Gospel's Sake. The scripture is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 15. Boy, listen, this is a great scripture. It is God's will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. Now, notice what he says. It is God's will that your honorable lives, he didn't say your words, did he? Hmm. He didn't say, you live your what, life. He, he said your lives, you know, what, what's the old saying? I can't hear what you're saying for what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know, That's right. and because they're not living that. When people criticize you and people or maybe persecute you for your faith, really, it's a very natural thing for us. If you do this to me, I'm going to get back at you, you know, to just to strike back. And you want to give them some of their own medicine. Well, you're being critical of me. Let me tell you what I see in you, you know. And uh, if you do this, it just shuts people down. Yeah, they just... It, they won't listen. Yeah, they no, don't. they won't listen. They won't... They, they, it, it fuels whatever fire they're trying to, to burn to the there. Yeah. Doesn't it? yeah, I love how Jesus. I was reading this this morning, and um, I was reading in uh, Matthew, and how uh, Jesus, when they would, I've been teaching on authority and walking in delegated authority, and um, uh, the the Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and said, "By what authority do you operate? In what gives you the authority to say the things you're saying?" And, uh, and so Jesus, instead of trying to explain to them or coming back at them, you know, well, you know, it's the Father, my, I'm under the Father's authority. He comes back with a question. And he says, well, whose authority do you think, do you, did you recognize John the Baptist's authority? Did you recognize John the Baptist as being somebody that was doing something good? And, and it was just like, it was every time when someone, when the Sadducees came to Jesus, you know, they were talking about the resurrection. And so many times they, they would come to him. And Jesus, um, I, I liked what he did. He would deflect that and bring another question in. He would say, first of all, you answer this question, you know. And I think sometimes we're too quick to, jump on what people are critical of us about, yeah, Marsha. Trying to justify what yeah. we're doing yeah. and what we're saying. And, and we don't have to justify, we don't have to justify our faith in God. Well, you know, if, Are the words <clears throat> even we speak because it's the truth. If we're speaking what God says, yeah. we don't have to justify it. If, if you are in a, a circumstance and you are speaking the word and you're standing on the word, and, and I, we've had people do this, we've had family do the same. Well, you know, come on, let's get real. Now this is really what's going on. And we're going, no, we're standing on the word of God. This is what we are proclaiming. And and many times they would become critical of that. Well, we're not going to respond back to that. We're not going to match in kind. I like what Jesus, what uh, in Acts 10, 38, it says about Jesus. And you know how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power? Jesus went about doing good and healing all those oppressed of the devil for God, uh, God was with him. Interesting, the Pharisees and the Sadducees would get mad at Jesus, and they'd go to take him. And then they would look around at the people, and all the people were with Jesus, and they became afraid and backed off, you know. Mm -hmm. And and I think, you know, when we look around, I like that saying, There really, there's more for us than they are against us. You know, when we stand up for the Word of God and uh, stand for right. the Word of God in our lives. I like this confession we put on here it says keep on praying for the oppressed of the devil and keep on laying hands on the sick amen for the devil wants you caught up in the criticism yep. so to stop you yeah so when they criticize you you just keep doing it because that was a command from jesus exactly. himself lay hands on the sick and they yep. will recover you know see people get born again 
See people get filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's what God that's what he wants us commissioned to us to do. Amen. 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 That great commission. Well, God bless you. We love you. You have a blessed week this week, and we'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? God bless.